This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to begin to discuss graphics in InDesign. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 1201, Mastering the Art of Placing Graphics, and just click Open. Placing graphics into an InDesign layout is simple. All you have to do is go under your File menu to Place. You're going to have to locate the Links folder that's been supplied for this training in order to place images. And all you have to do is just click on any one of the images, and you can see that you're getting a beautiful preview so you know exactly what that image looks like. And then I could just click Open. But what if I want to place more than one image? Let me click on that first image again and then hold down my Command key on a Mac, Control key on a PC, and click on the next image. I can place multiple images in that way, but I don't have a preview of either of those images. Once you select more than one image to place, there's no preview. That's a big problem, especially with names of images like this. Let me hit Cancel, and we're going to talk about a better way to place images. If you go under your Window menu to something called Mini Bridge, it's going to open the Mini Bridge panel. Mini Bridge is kind of like a back door into the Bridge application that comes with Creative Suite. It allows you to place images very easily. All you have to do is click on the image you want to place and just drag it into a frame and let go. And it's placing that image. I'm going to undo that. Command-Z or Control-Z. What if I wanted to place multiple images? Well, on a Mac, all I have to do is hold down my Command key and click on other images. On a PC, I hold down my Control key and click on the other images. I'm going to select nine images in all. Now, all I have to do is click on any one of those selected images and drag it into my layout. And you can see that my layout is getting highlighted in black towards the outside of the window. Now I'm just going to let go. And it's going to load all nine of those images into something called a loaded brush. I can go through the images in my loaded brush just to see what I have here by hitting my right arrow key to go forward through the images or my left arrow to go back. You can also see that in the upper left-hand corner near the brush, there's a 9 in parentheses. That means that there's 9 images in all to place. To place the images, all I have to do is click on the empty frames. But right away, I'm noticing another problem. These images are gigantic. And I'm only seeing a very small piece of these images within the frame. Let me get rid of my images. The way I'm going to do that is go to my selection tool and just click and drag across the nine graphic frames to select all of the frames. Then in the control panel, you can see this little icon that kind of looks like a sideways E with an arrow pointing down. That is select content. If I click on that, it's selecting the content within the frames instead of the frames themselves. So if I now hit delete, I'm going to delete all of the images I placed into those frames. And I'm back to empty frames. How can I have my images fit my frames better as soon as I place them? Well, I'm going to click and drag across all nine of those graphic frames again. Go under my object menu to something called fitting. In the sub menu, go to frame fitting options. And this allows me to set up something called fitting options for empty frames. By default, there is no fitting, so it says none. Let me click down on the pop-up and choose fill frame proportionately. That means the image is going to fill the frame and anything that doesn't fit will be cropped off. 
That doesn't mean that I can't move the image around or resize it afterwards if I want to crop it a different way. This is just to give me a good head start. The next section, it says Align From. By default, like all layout programs, the image will be placed from the upper left-hand corner, aligning the upper left-hand corner of the picture to the upper left-hand corner of the frame. Wouldn't it be better if we placed the center of the image over the center of the frame? Why don't we try that instead? In the Align From proxy, click on that center point. In the Crop Amount area, make sure to fill the fields with zeros. That way, you're sure to have as much of your picture showing as possible. And when you're done, just click OK. Now we're ready to place the pictures again. They should all be still selected in the mini bridge. So just click on any one of the selected pictures and drag them into your layout. And now they're all going to load into that loaded brush. And when you click in each one of the frames, you're going to see how much better the images fit in the frames. Now this is not meant as a final cropping. You can make any of the images bigger or move them around in your frame. Like, I'm going to move this one over a little bit. And possibly I want to see a little bit more of my golfer. That looks pretty good. The fitting options are really meant as just a starting point, but it makes it much easier to crop your images. In the next lesson, we're going to continue discussing graphics.